as parents, we pick up and we hold and we cuddle and we caress our baby because we know that's what works to soothe and calm and settle them. The baby massage really is an extension of what we're intuitively doing as parents, what we know that will calm and settle them. So welcome. My name is Jane, I'm an infant massage instructor and in today's session I wanted to go through with you some of the basics of baby massage. So I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the practicalities, the things like the where and the when to massage, uh, when not to massage, and then I'd also like to demonstrate some strokes you can use on your baby. So in terms of where to massage, where we are now is by far the safest place. So sitting on the floor with your baby rather than up on the change table. And it's more of a safety issue on the change table that can roll and wiggle and very easily fall onto the floor. So the floor is a safer place. The other thing that's worth mentioning is just taking a few moments before you settle into your massage just to gather together everything that you need. So um, use whatever oil, uh, get whatever oil you're going to be using, uh, perhaps a change of clothes for your barb, maybe a bottle of water for yourself, turn off your phone, maybe put some music on in the background. So what you're really doing is just creating a lovely calming environment that when you settle down with your baby to do the massage, you can just uh, slowly and gently move through the massage without any disruption to the routine. So in terms of when to massage, there's no absolute right or wrong time to massage your baby. Uh, some people prefer massaging in the morning, some like in the afternoon, and some like to incorporate into the nighttime routine. It doesn't really matter where in the day you massage, what you're looking um, more at is where in your baby's sleep cycle that you're massaging. So your baby will cycle through a number of sleep cycles within a day, and the smaller they are, the younger they are, the more times they'll move through those sleep cycles. So they normally sleep, and they wake a little bit drowsy, then they go to that quiet alert phase uh, where they're just lying and they're quite content and happy. They go to their active stage, so that's when they're busy, and so that's when the old ones start rolling and playing. Uh, and then from there they go into their tired signs, so they're rubbing their eyes, uh, they're yawning, they're crying, they're looking like they're ready to sleep. And then from there, of course, they're moving back into their sleep. And so then they'll cycle through that several times during the day. So the very best time to massage your baby is in the earlier part of the sleep cycle, so not long after they've woken up, in that sort of quiet alert phase. If you wait till the end of the sleep cycles, um, so towards their going back down for their sleeps, you'll find that um, some babies uh, find that a little bit overstimulating to start massage at that time and they'll get quite grizzly and unsettled. So then they don't enjoy the massage time and neither do you. Every baby is a little bit different and you know your baby very best of all, but generally speaking, earlier in the sleep cycle is the best time to massage your baby. There are times when you wouldn't massage your baby as well. So if your little one had any major medical conditions or has perhaps had surgery, uh, perhaps has had issues with their hips, uh, these are sort of conditions you'd be wanting to check uh, and speak to your GP about before you started massaging them. More general sort of things just to keep in mind is uh, after your babies have had their vaccinations, they can often be quite fractious and unsettled and sometimes a little bit feverish and have sore legs as well. So you probably want to hold off a massage for maybe 24 to 48 hours after they've had their vaccines. Any other time you'd be cautious with massage is when they had fevers or were unwell. So you just wouldn't massage them during that time. You'd wait till the, the fever had passed. You'd be certainly cuddling and holding them and reassuring them that way. You just wouldn't be massaging them. So in terms of the massage routine, there's many, many strokes you can use uh, on your baby and it's really a matter of trial and error to find out what ones they like and what they don't. And it's really important that you uh, follow your baby's lead and follow their cues in terms of massage. Now before you start the massage, one important thing just to consider is what we call the permission sequence. So it's just basically asking your baby, is it okay if I give you a massage? And that's simply putting your hands in front of them and saying, do you want a massage? Initially, of course, they're gonna have no idea what that means, but over time, this will become very much a learned response. And when they see you gathering everything together and then your hands in front of their face, they'll know that a massage is coming and they'll very clearly answer you as to whether they want one or they're not. 
just purely by the little body language. So if they're happy with the massage, usually the eyes are wide and bright, they're smiling, they're laughing and gooing, little arms are all excited. If they're not wanting to massage, they will disengage from you. They'll get a little bit grisly, maybe the face will grimace, and they'll get a little bit agitated. So just follow your baby's lead. If they're indicating they want to be massaged, then absolutely work your way through the massage. If they're saying, no, I don't want to be massaged, that's fine as well. I'll just leave it for that time of the day and maybe try later on or maybe just leave it for another day. It's also really important to keep checking back in with your baby during the massage. So at any time if they're indicating that they're not enjoying the massage or they're starting to get unsettled with it, just stop. So it doesn't matter if you've only done one leg and they start to get grisly, it's fine to stop at that point. You're much better off doing one or two minutes of really good quality massage rather than pushing through and doing 10 to 15 minutes of massage when both you and your baby aren't enjoying it. So to start off, whatever oil you're using, just onto your hand and warm the oil. So rub it really firmly between your hands, get it nice and warm. And then a really nice place to start is just gliding your hands onto the little chest and just staying with them for a few moments before you start the massage. So from here, just really connecting with your bum. So maybe even close your eyes. Let's take a few breaths. Nice deep breaths. You're going to be able to feel them breathing. You're going to feel their little chest going up and down. And you're going to feel their little heart beating through the chest wall. So just take the moment to connect with your baby. Then from this position, you can come up and ask, do you want a massage? wait for their response and if they're happy you can start. First stroke really is just spreading the oil so it doesn't matter which leg you start with but spreading the oil all over and then you've got one really long lovely outward stroke to get the massage going. So you're stroking up the leg one hand in after the other just making sure that leg's always well supported. From here you're rolling so put the little leg between the palms of your hands and you're rolling from their thigh to the ankle. When you get to the top, go back down. And down and down. And from here you're circling. So circle just with the pads of your fingers into the muscle. The thigh in front and in the back and onto the calf. Now just always remembering just to make this stroke relatively firm because it can get a little bit ticklish if your touch is light. From here, we're going now circles around the ankles. Tip the little foot down and then you're drawing line, one for each toe. And coming back, cross each toe individually, so a little toe between your fingers, roll and squeeze and come off. One for each toe. And going onto the base of the foot, just with your thumb, go the entire length of the foot. A nice firm stroke. So making sure your foot strokes are always firm because it can get a little bit ticklish for them around the feet if they're light and feathery. Hand flat on top of the foot, bit of a rub. And then come back down opposite to how you started. So now we're walking back, working back towards the body and coming back down the leg. Again, flowing one hand in after the other. Beautiful. And you do the same again on the other leg. So you probably need to chop up your oil at this stage, a little bit more oil, warm it up, and away you go. Spreading the oil. And then just that lovely long outward stroke to start with, from thigh to ankle. Drawing your little leg between the palms of your hands, all the way up. and then circling into the muscles. Having the leg well supported with one hand, the other hand in the shape of a C, just circle around the ankle bone. And then from here, tip the little leg down and draw a line for each time. Coming back, and each toe one at a time, just give it a little squeeze. 
Wir sehen uns wieder. Here you go into the base of the foot. So one long line all the way down the length of the foot. Sticking into the arch of the foot. Giving the foot a bit of a rub. And then working back towards the body. So having the leg supported and bring one hand in after the other. So when you finish massaging one part of the body, it's always nice to do a long stroke just to go over what you've already done. So come down the legs and off the toes. And then from here you might need to top up on the oil and then just glide your hands onto their chest. Just rest your hands on their chest and then come up so that you only want their shoulders. Come down the shoulders, down the side of the chest, follow the bottom rib up to the centre and then up the stern. So it's almost like you're drawing a little butterfly across their chest. Now some babies don't like having a chest massage and that's absolutely fine. You just follow your baby's lead. If they're enjoying it, continue with the massage. If they're not, just stop. And we're coming down over everything we've done. So we're coming down the chest, down their legs, and off those toes. So we'll move on to the face. So you just Resting your hands either side of the little head and let your thumbs fall over the eyebrow line. Just working your way across the eyebrow. From here, moving on to the temples, this circle. And then from this position, go straight on to the ears. So just ear between your fingers, give it a little roll and a squeeze and come off, working your way around the earlobe. Do one ear at a time. We'll both together. And from here, just moving on to the head. It's just the pads of the fingers, gently massaging into the skull. Just remembering you've got the two little soft spots, so just avoiding any pressure, making sure your light, your touch is nice and light. And when you think they've had enough, come back down over what we've done. So off the little face. Off their arm, and come all the way down. And then when you finish the massage, it's just nice to rest your hands on them somewhere and let them know that the massage is done. So just as you had the start point with the permission sequence, it's just really nice just to finish off and say we're all done, we're finished now, just so they've got your point. From this point you wrap them up in a blanket or a towel, whatever you've got there, and just bring them up close to you. And this is just a really lovely way to finish off the massage time. So just holding them close to them and just staying in that moment with them. Again, you might want to close your eyes, just stay connected with them. Feel the little breath. You might even be able to feel their heart beating through the chest. They'll be able to smell you, they can hear you. You can hear your heartbeat. Just take a few deep breaths and just be with them. And then just bring them down and you get them dressed and keep them comfortable. So hopefully that's given you enough information to get going on your massage journey. It is just a, such a lovely way to bond and connect with your baby and to, to gain from all the benefits it has to offer, including uh, improvement of sleep uh, and certainly helping with symptoms related to wind and colic and reflux. So I'd just like to finish off by just uh, saying that when you begin massage and start bringing massage into your day, not to make it a task. Don't make it something extra that you have to do, just make it part of your daily routine. That way you're going to enjoy it a lot more and you're not going to feel guilty about not massaging. That's not what it's all about. It's just meant to be something lovely and beautiful and bonding that you can share with your babe. I think the other really important thing is just to trust, just to trust your ability as a parent and just to trust that you know your baby very best of all. So thank you for watching and I really hope you enjoy your massage time with your baby.